Hi guys, it's Ben here and welcome to the Chelsea vs Liverpool preview. We are a couple of days on from Rome. We got back yesterday, or I did anyway, uh, from the beautiful city of Rome. Um, obviously shattered, still thinking about it all the time, just reliving it today really. Um, just kind of watching a few videos back and seeing stuff that I didn't necessarily see on the night. Still on cloud nine, still loving it, thinking about Kiev as every minute goes by. But we've got two important games before that. Um, well, one game if we manage to get a result here uh, before the Brighton one. So Chelsea versus Liverpool. It's obviously going to be really, really tough. The bookies have got Chelsea as favourites, and understandably so. Uh, they're 6 to 5. We're at 21 to 10. Uh, it's going to be difficult to, to, to remain focused. Um, we saw that against Stoke last weekend. Uh, we saw it against West Brom even the weekend before that. Uh, this is a much tougher game than those two, so there's obviously going to be a bit of concern as to our concentration, our mental fatigue, uh, our fitness. Um, Chelsea are going to really fancy this. They're in really, really strong form. They're in the FA Cup final. Their league form's been really good. Uh, Giroud's come into the team and scoring plenty of goals. Hazard's doing well. and They're getting goals from other areas of the pitch. Victor Moses chipping in. Um, so Chelsea isn't... This isn't a great time to play Chelsea. They've got a lot of momentum behind them. And yeah, they, they believe they can still get top four and it's not beyond the realms of possibility. They can still catch Spurs or they can still catch us. So they're going to have a bit between their teeth. This is the most important game for them uh, this season. And it's crucial for us as well. If we can get the point here that guarantees us top four, then we can relax a bit against Brighton. We don't want to be having to go there. Uh, needing a win to secure that top four place. Uh, we just don't need that added pressure with the Champions League final just around the corner. Um, so the big question would be how many changes will Klopp make, if any? Um, you know, the, the, the Roma game was Wednesday night. Um, this game is fortunately a Sunday afternoon one, so there is a good rest period there, but still, you know, getting back on Thursday. Um, for the team, uh, you know, they're, they're, they'll be shattered. It, it was a, it was a daunting night. It was the first Champions League semi-final that most of them had ever played in their lives. Um, they got through it. They must have celebrated, and yeah, na na now they got a huge, huge game in the context of the season and in the context of next season as well. Um, you know, trying to guarantee themselves the opportunity to play in the same competition that they've gone so far in this year. Um, so as far as my kind of predicted eleven. Uh, Carius, obviously. Now, I think it's sensible to change the right back for this one. I mean, Trent had a massive night. I mean, the kid's 19, uh, he's a scouser, but it would have meant the world to him. Um, I think it's only fair that Nathaniel Klein comes in and plays here. He's ready to go, uh, so why not? Don't want to make too many changes other than that. I think that would be my only change, uh, certainly in defence, um, and probably at all, to be honest with you. I think I'd still want to go Van Dijk. You could talk me into Clavin, you could talk me into Clavin, um, but I would still pick Lovren uh, and Andy Robertson, and I'd and I, I keep the rest the same. I, partly, of course, down to um, not having many options due to injury. Um, Klopp said today that Chan and Alana are on track for recovery and may be able to make the Champions League final. Same for Joe Gomez, who may even come back for, for Brighton. Uh, but yeah, it's got to be a Henderson, Van Alden, Milner midfield. They've got a week to rest after this one before the Brighton game. So yeah, I don't think it's that big a risk. Yeah, you know, I know we can't afford a niggle, but in midfield, um, there might be options coming back. So I think we're okay to play the three. Uh, you know, if Henderson, Milner, Van Alden, it is that much of an important game that I think we have to. And if we do get a point here, we can play anyone you like against Brighton. Uh, home on the final day. I don't want to have to be um, trotting the the first eleven out there, um, and then the front three of Mane, Salah, and Firmino. Why not? Uh, you know, he he might rest one of them and give Danny Ings or Dominic Slanky a game, and you know, I, I I would understand it, but I want to go for all three. I want to go and win this game or, or draw this game, as I know we can if we are full strength. So let's go and try and do that. And m my prediction, if we do go that strong, if we do go that strong, is that we will get a point. Um, I know we've got a good record at Sanford Bridge over the last couple of seasons. Klopp's uh, first season, he got a 3-1 win there. And then last season, the 2-1 victory, thanks to Jordan Henderson's wonderful, wonderful first half strike. Uh, I think we will get a 2-2 draw there on Sunday if we go that strong. If we don't, any more changes if Moreno plays, um, if Danny Ings plays, you know, uh, if, if we go three at the back or something, I, I fear we might lose. I mean, we are the underdogs to start with. Uh, and understandably, and I think if we do go any weaker than just the one or two changes, we will end up on the losing side here, which will mean 
the next Sunday, the following Sunday against Brighton, becomes massive. It becomes just like the Middlesbrough game at the end of last season where Wijnaldum uh, sent us to the Champions League and we got a couple of goals after that as well. So, it's a huge game, make no mistake about it. I'm going to be there on Sunday, of course. Um, hopefully, the, the fans, hopefully there's a party atmosphere, hopefully we can get up for this one. I know at West Brom, we weren't really up for it, and I wasn't at the Stoke game at Anfield, but the, the crowd was obviously quite silent there as well. We need to be behind the boys this time. We need to be uh, just like we were in Rome. I know it's not going to be exactly the same as that. How, how could it be? That, that was something quite out of this world, but we need to be... Behind my lads for minute one, and yeah, we need to go full strength, please. But I, you know, I understand if, if he does make changes. I just think it's a huge risk. It's a risk either way, you know. It's uh, it's a catch twenty two. But um, you know, as, as Klopp said in his presser, for now this is the most important game of his career. Um, he's obviously, you know, you have to take that with a pinch of salt. He's obviously just sort of playing to the media there. But it is important. It is Chelsea away. They're a big rival. It's that there's Champions League football on the line. Um, you know, I've, I've waffled on about that for, for a few minutes now, but yeah, I, I take this game very, very seriously. Um, yeah, I, I really rate Chelsea as of late. Um, I thought their season was really petering out. I wasn't concerned about them at all, but fair play. You know, when they when they went 2-0 down at Southampton, I thought that was top four completely and utterly boxed off, but they came back. I think Giroud, the impact sub, came on um, and made the difference. He also scored in the uh, Cup semi-final against Southampton, and yeah, he's just in, in all-round good form. I think it's pretty much no-brainer for him to start over uh, Maratta at the moment, who just seems completely out of confidence. Eden Hazard is playing some nice stuff. Um, they seem quite set. Um, that they've been unable to set on a back three all season, Chelsea. But um, you know, w w whether they w w whether they do what Jurgen thinks they'll do, will remain to be seen. Um, they've got two games this week. They got Huddersfield in midweek, and then they do go to Newcastle on the final day, which they could slip up at. So that's kind of another bit of security in my mind. I still think we will get top four, whether it's this Sunday or next. Or if uh, yeah, or if Chelsea slip up, or if Spurs even slip up, which is probably less likely, but you never know. Uh, we're still in a good position. We still got the points on the board, which, as a cliche goes, you'd rather have. Uh, and we go to Stamford Bridge full of belief, full of momentum, full of confidence. After albeit losing in Rome, qualifying for the final, the final of the Champions League, um, which we'll talk about near the time. That has been my Chelsea preview. I'm st I'm gonna say we're gonna draw two two. Leave your comments in the, the uh, comments box below with your predictions uh, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. Subscribe to this channel if you are new. Please uh, enjoy my Rome vlog if you haven't seen it already. I think it's got a decent amount of views just like the City one did which is much appreciated. They're great, great fun to make those ones. Yeah, I'll see you next time.